Hey, what's up everyone? You're watching Bob's Decline. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out a job that we did earlier today. We were doing some 138 KV switching where things didn't quite go as planned. I wanted to share this video with you to express the importance of when you're doing line work or, or any kind of trade work for that matter. And something isn't quite right, the conditions are abnormal as, as we say it's extremely important that you stop and reassess the situation and always follow your procedure. We're in one of our large switch yards here and uh, we're going to be doing some return switching for our power system operator. There was a crew out working on the transmission line. So I'm gonna take you guys along for the switching in this video because I, I didn't do the initial switching, so I'm not sure which switches exactly are involved. There's a ton of numbered devices in this yard. However, even though I, I wasn't part of the initial switching, it's, it's a process that we can easily figure out with the steps that were provided. So my first step is to check open a breaker SA1-6 check open. So I know the SA1-6 is in the 138 kV yard. These are all of our breakers here. So you can see they're labeled SA1-10, SA1-9. So it looks like I'm going in the right direction here. Now the, these breakers are open internally. I can see that switch is open there. We've got our SA1-6. So this breaker should be open. So we're gonna verify that before we carry on to our next step. I see there's a switch open on this side too. So this must be open. All right, so open and we'll confirm the number again, SA1-6. And also, I'll confirm again on my switching instructions. SA1-6, check open. So, we've completed that step. So, when you're doing switching in a transmission yard, everything very methodical, you wanna check it off step by step. So, I'm gonna mark that off along with the time, which is 09.33. All right, so our next step, ST-6, close, check closed, lock, remove workman tag, and then it has the permit holder's name. So, I keep saying so. That's uh, likely this. ST-1-6, so check my paperwork, ST-1-6. 1-6 my instruct is to close and it is in the open position so that makes sense so we're going to operate this manual close device which this bus work here is probably energized off that other set of overhead bus so that's going to energize this breaker here without picking up any load now before operating these devices we have to make sure all of our bonds are in place you can see there's a ground mat here we have our heavy duty bond. We're gonna open, close is clockwise. So we're gonna go clockwise to close that switch. Those are our tags. That yellow tag indicates there's an abnormal condition. Let's see what that states. Blade will not close in jaw. TLM needed to close. Okay, so right off the bat because of that, conditions abnormal tag. I'm going to call the power system operator and see what the deal with that is. TLMs are transmission line maintenance guys. They're rug up with a lot different equipment. I'm actually gonna write down the tag number so they, that should be in the system as well. Tag number 1808. So we're gonna write that down. Tag 1808. Now what we do sometimes, 
I can't remember if I showed this in the video or not. So once, when that device is closed, you can see the blade kind of rotates in place into the jaw on that other stack on the right. And if it's not closed quite all the way, sometimes it'll take a hot stick and actually force it in that last little bit. Those, those switches are pretty heavy duty. You gotta come onto them quite hard as it is. But just because that condition abnormal tag is there, I'm gonna see if I can get more of a story on that. I might actually call the transmission line maintenance crew and see what exactly the story is on that before we go any further. So uh, if we don't carry on with this switching, I'll cut the video short. Um, either way, I'll let you guys know what we come up with here. All right, so I just got off the phone with our power system operator and uh, he said I do have permission to attempt to close that switch and if it doesn't fully close, I have permission to open it back up. Now when doing this switch, and it's, it's important that if you do close the switch and it doesn't fully close, that you do not open it back up unless you understand 100% what you're energizing, what you're doing. In this case here, we're just picking up the line side going into that breaker. So I do have permission to open it back up if it doesn't close properly. However, if you were picking up load, which normally isn't the case in a transmission system, and you were to open that back up, you could draw quite a large arc. So we're gonna attempt to close and see what happens. All right, you can see the, the center blade on that there. step to remember I only have permission to remove one tag so if this does close properly we're going to put that abnormal condition tag back on the switch sometimes these guys can be pretty hard to close they take a lot of effort but generally what you want to do is this device ferret is and then for that last little bit, I want to give her a, a real hard shot in a closed position. All right. There it is, 138,000 volts. So even though there's no load, there's a bit of line load in there. All right. So when you look at the way that blade is seated, I'm comfortable with the position of that, that center phase. It's, that's all good. Now this far side, yeah, that's, you can see the difference between the two. That one's fully seated. This guy here is actually two to three inches, still in the open position and the blade is still partially rotated. Ooh, this guy here is even worse. You can see it's, it, it is making contact, but you're not gonna apply a load to that switch that isn't fully in the closed position. So, we're gonna open that guy back up. I'm repeating myself here a bit, but I do wanna emphasize that I do have permission to open that switch back up if it did not fully close. We might get a little bit of a bark here again. Alright, now I'm actually going to install both tags back for now until I speak to my We do want to make sure that this is back in the locked position and verify that all three are open. One, two, three phases are all in the open position. All right, so let's just, it's freezing out here today. So we're gonna jump in the truck and give our power system operator a call back. Let them know that the switch did not fully close at 9.33 a.m. SA1-6 was checked open and at 0940 
uh, ST1-6 was closed and when um, so then I opened ST1-6 and I left the CA tag and workman tag 2050 on the switch and locked. Alright so we reported our steps back to the power system operator. Basically as I reported it I reported that I closed switch ST1-6 and while checking closed it was not fully in the closed position so then reported that I opened ST1-6 and left both tags along with the tag numbers on the switch and also confirmed that the switch was locked. So had that operated properly then our next step would have been 6B14 and same deal closed check closing off 6B14 I'm not sure where that is but I'm going to assume that it's this switch on the other side of where we just were on the other side of the breaker and again I, I use the word assume but you do have to verify you can never assume without proper verification so 6B14 there's our tag I confirmed the permit number on the tag I just don't want to put the information on the screen so the last step would be to close 6B14 which is right here and then we would verify all three are closed lock the handle in place and of course before operating the switch we do have to confirm that the bonds and grounds are all in place the structure as a whole you can see there's a bond going right down to the ground grid there our switch is bonded to our grounding mat that's pretty much it we're going to stand by and wait for our TLM department so when you're working on the switch yards at our company our linemen are fully certified to work in transmission, distribution, metering, underground. There are a few extra courses needed, of course, by some guys. But I don't normally work in this department. I don't normally work in the switch yards. I respond to trouble in the switch yards, um, diagnose the problem, and basically the appropriate relay techs or high voltage guys do the actual work most times. So it can be intimidating showing up these switch yards not knowing the yard but i could end up on another end of the province four or five hours away into a switch yard and, and i'm still able to operate everything in that switch yard as long as you follow your steps you verify each and every switch number switch step everything you're doing as long as you verify it you know what you're doing there, there's no issues there all right so i just heard back from the power system operator and we're gonna head out. The transmission line crew isn't available right away. It's gonna be a few hours. There's no outage from the switching or anything. There's no big emergency. But uh, them fellows will be coming by. There'll be probably three or four guys here. So on to the next one. There's only 51 work orders on my truck today. So should have should have that done by the end of the day. Check this out. So we're at the uh, vehicle accident here. Just, just uh, communication. Well, oh, I got the strand released there now. And uh, seen this on the pole. And I think what it is is actually a geocache. I don't know how many people have heard tell of a geocache. Use it in Siri on at geocaching.com. That's exactly what it is. So, maybe the boys will transfer that over to the new pole. Anyways, thanks for stopping in, as always, guys, and we'll see you all soon.